Hello, my name is George Castro, and today I'm going to show you how to use discuss.kubernetes.io, which is our new communication platform forum slash mailing list aggregator uh, community site. Uh, so the URL is discuss.kubernetes.io. Discuss.kas.io also works like other things in the Kubernetes community. Um, and the first thing you need to do is to create an account. You either got an invite in the mail from someone who's already on the site, or uh, you maybe you just discovered the site and you want to create an account. We accept uh, GitHub logins as well as Google and some other social accounts. Uh, if you use the GitHub login, I recommend you try to grab the matching name here so that notifications will work across both sites. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, you can fill out uh, whichever information here about your account. So you click on your on the, your picture, your little avatar there, and click on the little gear, um, and it'll take you to this preferences site. The first thing you want to set up, especially if you're coming from a mailing list, is emails. So if you click here, you click on preferences, and then you click on emails, this will give you kind of the email options for the site. Uh, generally speaking, you want to leave these as default. Every time you post uh, and someone replies to you, you will automatically get a notification and an email sent to you. This gives you a little bit more granularity as, as, to, as to what you want exactly to be mailed for you. Another one which is on by default is the activity summary. This is a weekly newsletter that's generated for you and sent to you. This is the perfect casual mode if you're just interested in Kubernetes, but maybe you don't want to check the site every day uh, sort of thing. So it, it generates a little custom um, newsletter for, for you and you can uh, customize on how often you want it. And it will take um, it will take like the most popular threads and things like that into account when sending you an email. It will be tempting to enable mailing list mode, um, but what that really actually does is send you an email for every single thing that happens on the site. You probably don't want that, so be careful with that one. Um, but other than that, I generally leave those as default. Now, if you click on the Kubernetes logo, you'll always get sent to the home screen, which has a few sections in it for you. If you always just wanna see what the latest stuff is, just click on latest. If you wanna click on top, top are the things that are getting the most activity, the most amount of likes, things like that. And these are basically our best threads. Uh, so currently Cube Cuddle Tips and Tricks um, is really good. It's got just tons and tons of information from people who um, use Cube Cuddle every day. So you can always click on the logo to take you back. So on the left here, we have our categories, announcements, general discussions, a section for contributors, and events and meetups and things like that. Um, so these you can actually subscribe to separately if you want. So by default, you're not really subscribed to anything. You'll only get notifications and emails if uh, someone directly uh, at pings you. So let's say you want to subscribe to just general discussions. This is the equivalent of subscribing to the Kubernetes users mailing list. Each category, when you click on it, will take you to all the topics and all the things people are talking about. So if you look here, this little circle here, if you click on this, this controls the notifications that you get for this category. So in this case, if you wanted to subscribe to just the general discussions, you would change this to watching. There you go. Now, every time uh, you, there's a new uh, post or anything like that here, you will, uh, you'll get an email and a notification. So that's a good way to subscribe, subscribe to something. So you're now subscribed to the general um, discussions, right? Um, so something really useful is something that we're doing is automating releases and things that are important to the Kubernetes community. So for example, Kubernetes 1.9.10 was just released. A bot actually did this that ensures that we post post the um, uh, announcement, link to the change logs, where you can get it, that sort of thing. What we're doing is slowly pulling in things from a lot of sources from around the web that are Kubernetes related and tying it into the announcements section. So if you wanted to subscribe to all the announcements and, and only the announcements, you can again come here and click watching. Right? So you can do general discussions if you want, or you can do announcements, or you can do both if you want. Uh, so it gives you a little bit more granularity of what you get in your inbox. In addition, so if you were to, to watch this uh, category, you would get all of this stuff. But let's say you want to be really, really specific. So uh, if you only wanted to see the release stuff, let's say, we add tags to all of these as we're posting them. So if you notice here, Kubernetes 1.9.10 release, there's a little tag underneath that says Kate's release. And these are things from the release team uh, that get released that are actually Kubernetes itself. So if you're only interested in when Kubernetes itself is released, you can click on this tag and you could subscribe just like you can to a category to a specific tag. So if you only want Kubernetes release information, 
you would click on the tag and then subscribe to the tag by clicking on the circle and clicking watching. Now, as we start to add more things into the announcements section, we're going to be tagging these specifically. So if you only want mini cube, you'll only get mini cube. If you only want cops, you'll only get cops. If you want it all, you'll just subscribe to this um, announcement section. But what this allows us to do is to give us granularity in what you can subscribe. So similarly, uh, one thing we do for contributors is I published a notes to the Kubernetes weekly community meeting in this huge long thread here. So every week we have these on Thursdays, right? And wouldn't it be cool if you just got this in your inbox, specific topics, just like everything else, you can click over here on the right and click watching, um, tracking normal and muted, uh, you know, there's a description for each underneath. Maybe you never want to see this topic ever in your inbox. You would mute me and then um, you would never see it. So what I do is I post these. So if you wanted to get just the notes from the community meeting that happens every week, you could subscribe to just this topic. Um, and, but that's in the contributor section, but it doesn't matter. You can subscribe to things wherever they are on the site. So if we end up looking back on announcements, um, let me give you another example. Josh has this great newsletter call last week in Kubernetes development where he takes all of those notes that I just showed you and translate them, translates them into English for the rest of us. So he does a really great job summarizing, you know, uh, major bugs and feature pull requests, all sorts of really good stuff. It's a more higher level overview than just getting the raw notes. So what you could do here is like everything else, it has a tag. There's all the last week in Kubernetes development uh, newsletters and once again you can click and just watch that so hopefully you can now see why this is more powerful for us than a mailing list right if you want everything you can have everything if you want the nitty-gritty of what's happening every week you can subscribe to the community notes and just get them every single week if you just want an overview development from josh's newsletter you can get that so these are just three examples we're adding in the cncf blog posts um, releases from other major pieces of software that might affect Kubernetes, things that go on top of Kubernetes. This allows our users to basically subscribe to what they want in one place to help us kind of tie in everything together. And what we're working on now is integrating into this, into the Kubernetes website itself to make this more discoverable, but we're also have tying in these announcements to Twitter accounts and to announcing on Slack so that those of you that are publishing this software have one place to go you just let us know where you are on github we tie it into the automation bits um, and then we're able to basically tie this all together so hopefully that'll give you a an overview of what the site is about and encourage you to participate do encourage you if you see something that uh, that's really useful for you um, for example we're, we're automatically now starting to grab in the kubernetes podcast from google post their notes on here so if you see something that's really good give it a heart um, that allows us to figure out what content people like and will help populate uh, the top the top things in the site. Um, and of course, where do you get help? Well, site feedback and help is here. You can click on here, start a new topic and post, hey, I don't understand this or whatever. And then one of us will get back to you. I've also posted under a tag called site tips um, where you can see different uh, tutorials that I've put together uh, with screenshots and things like that. So. Here's the post version of what this video is about. Uh, if you're interested in that, in uh, these are easier to share for those of you that, that prefer text uh, instead of a video. So as always, we're listening. Uh, please let us know what we can do to make the site better, how to get you more engaged, that sort of thing. Um, and please post, tell us a story and uh, help us continue to grow the community. Thanks for watching.